Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube land? What is happening, good people? You are now tuned in to another dope video here at No BS Allowed TV, the place where we discuss life, truth, love, and all dope things in between. I am your host, that guy, King P, aka Big Game James, aka The Ice Nine, aka Pastor Offering, aka the reason why you are here. Or you can just basically call me the more the man with more AKAs than an HBCU. All right. Anyway, now you know how we do it, so we got to get into it. First, shout out to all the returning subscribers. Uh, thank you. Uh, you know, salute most definitely. And um, if you're new here, relax, chill out. You're gonna love it here. I promise you. All right. Now, and again, as I said, y'all, you know, for everybody who's you know, everybody who's a regular here, y'all know how we do it. So let's get right into it. I am going to talk about um, a list, a list that has uh, become viral over the last couple of days. Um, and uh, what list am I talking about? I'm talking about the list uh, that was allegedly made by. Uh, a group of women uh, stating that these particular places were not suitable anymore or ever for a first date. Now, it took off and a lot of people have a lot of things to say about it. Uh, some people feel like it's a lot of cap. Some people feel like it's, you know, it's, it's cool. Some people feel like, you know, they're, they're in the middle about it. Well, me, I feel like this. It's not as bad as it's being perceived. And also, yeah, there is some cap to it. But if you actually look deeper into it, it, is, it, it definitely isn't as bad as it seems. But you could you, you could make some you can you can make some um you can make some provisions for certain things. And again, at the end of the day, it's all subjective. All right. Now let's let, let's let's uh let's do this i you know we're gonna um you know we, we're going to we're gonna check this out here we're gonna check this out um i we're gonna check this proverbial list out all right so here we go all right now it says, here's a list of places women absolutely refuse to go on a first date to. And thank you to the ladies who reached out to me to help me on my list. Now, I don't know who these ladies are, uh, so I cannot say anything about them. Wasn't going to say anything about them, but this list has taken off like wildfire over the Internet these past couple of days. And everyone has an opinion on it. So. We're going to get into the first thing here. Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory, in all honesty, it really isn't a bad first date, but you can do a lot better. I mean, you know, especially if you are of a certain age, you can do a lot better than Cheesecake Factory. Uh, Applebee's. Applebee's is a couple's restaurant. That means that you're already together. You know, this is like, you know, you're out and about, you know, you, you know, you may have been running a few errands or you hit the mall with your lady or whatever. You're like, yo, you hungry? She's like, yeah, I can eat. There's an Applebee's nearby. You slide in there, get your thinker thing on. So Applebee's, I can definitely see. They're not first date appropriate at all. Chili's, Chili's is the same thing with Applebee's. Now, if you are a younger man and and you know what I mean? And when I mean younger, I'm talking about like somebody possibly like high school age. Now that might be cool, but if you are, again, if you're of a certain age, nah, Applebee's and Chili's, no go. Chipotle's, definitely a no go. Come on, that you don't, you don't need me to tell you that. Um, Olive Garden, Olive Garden, yeah, definitely a no-go for a first date. Again, this is a these are places that um, you already have established the relationship. So, yeah, yeah, definitely a no-go. The movies, the movies, 
is another is another place that's self-explanatory because you can't talk to anybody in the movies especially if your objective is to watch the movie so how are you actually communicating with the with your date and so it makes no sense to take your date to the movie so i agree with this the, the movies yeah no go your house now back in the day this this would have been a viable option you know hey you know like teddy p said you know come on over to my place you know but times have changed you cannot do that anymore you cannot do that anymore you know safety concerns all that you know what i mean your safety her safety you just don't want them problems your first date should not be in your home should not be at her home either so i agree with that any fast food chain come on man you gotta have some class about yourself <laughs> you know <laughs> you know taking taking a check to uh you know to, you know to get a full for full is is uh real low class <laughs> really low class i don't know who out there doing it but yeah <laughs> real low class buffalo wild wings again another place that you would go to if you've already established a relationship so yeah, we're gonna move on from that wing stop same thing red lobster again another place that you know if you are in a relationship you are married you know what have you you can go to these places with you with your significant other but not on a first date so so far i don't really see a whole lot wrong on this list a buffet i personally would say no to a buffet because i hate buffets or all, all i don't care it could be in the most classy establishment ever i just personally hate buffets i'm a germaphobe and people being you know being all those people being up in there the food out in the open and all that nah, nah, nah i'm good on that that's just me personally but for the sake of the conversation that we're having right now a buffet definitely is a no-go for a first day i hop IHOP is like some after the club action. All right. You know, you had met you a shorty or whatnot. And you know what I mean? You know, y'all, you know, y'all, you know, formed a mutual admiration society, so to speak. And you're a little bit hungry before you go off into, and you know, before you both go off and do the thing that you uh, were planning on doing. And you know what that thing is. Uh, yeah, this is definitely not quote unquote first date, but it may be, uh, may be appropriate for uh you know again that scenario i just just described so uh yeah I, um i hop denny's the, those are those are places that that that's after after the club all that type of stuff definitely not first date material the gym um I don't know of too many people whose first dates were the gym. I mean, I, I get it. There's a lot of people who are fitness fanatics and they're health nuts and all that. Salute to them. Um, but um, yeah, I, I I don't I don't see I don't see a lot of people wanting to go to the gym on the first date. Now you you know I've heard of people meeting at the gym, but going to the gym on the first date, yo, that's wild. <laughs> that's real wild church now church this is subjective you know you know you have those people who who profess themselves to be uh you know um god fearing you know that is the popular phrase and so you know they want to uh you know they want to uh basically uh keep that thing going uh so uh you know they they'll say okay well yeah um how about you come to my church now me personally i think that's really kind of whack because again you don't necessarily know this you don't know this person at all so to invite them into something to invite to invite them to your church is um a bit overbearing honestly because you don't necessarily know anything about them you don't even know if they you don't know if they're atheists you don't know anything but you're you're going on assumptions so 
yeah the, the church is a whack idea now starbucks starbucks yeah no 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 too much going on in the starbucks too much going on again how are you going to communicate when you got you we got all the hustle and bustle of starbucks people in there you know ordering their you know, ordering their you know their their you know their coffee their cappuccinos frappuccinos all that you know it's not a real it's not a real good setting uh it it screams it screams lameness it screams lack of creativity so uh starbucks is definitely out coffee dates now this i disagree with there are some good coffee shops there's some good coffee shops uh and that could be a you know, that could be a dope first date you know with tied in with other things you know you meet at the coffee shop you have good conversation you get a feel for each other you know you you, you, you know you share you, you share that dope conversation over some good coffee you know you you know get coffee a coffee shop is totally different than your local starbucks so we got to get that straight normally these are places these are smaller places intimate type of settings you know quirky you know, you know quirky settings things like that i mean there's a you know there's um there's a coffee shop that i saw on ig where they have you know, where they have cats you know if, if you're a cat person you know you can go you, you can go to this coffee shop and you know sip your coffee and enjoy the cats and you can actually adopt them remember adopt don't shop you know things like that so you're not going to get that type of thing at your local starbucks so i i disagree coffee dates are your coffee dates are, are, are pretty cool ice cream dates ice cream dates eh, you know i'm kind of 50 50 on that honestly um it all depends you know what i mean you know um if you if you're meeting somebody and they in and um she present you know, she presents herself to be a down to earth person. She might actually go for that. You know, she might actually go for that unless she's lactose intolerant. Then you might get some pushback. Or, on the other hand, you may get someone who is not necessarily um and and not be in and I'm not trying to diss anybody or anything like that. Um, again, uh, you know, the, all of this is subjective, right? But um, getting back to what I was saying, if you if if you meet somebody and she's of a certain mindset, she's she's not trying to go to she's not trying to go get no ice cream, bro. She's not trying to go and get any ice cream. She wants you to actually put some real effort into it. So again, it's a 50-50 thing. Uh, family functions. Is, who the hell is taking their first date to a family function? I, I don't wow uh you know I'm I'm out the dating game but man even when I was out there like that I never took a date to a family function on the first rip come on I mean you know you you know that, you, that's that's opening Pandora's box you just don't want to do that and then what happens if you and that person don't work out now you become fodder for all the all uh all the family gatherings from here into eternity they're gonna talk about how you brought this whack person around you know and all this that and the third and it's just nah just not cool at all don't do it movie night netflix and chill you know all that yeah again that goes back to the whole thing of your house her house um not necessarily a good move these days um you know your first date should be in public it should be in public for your safety as well as hers i understand you want to try to get down with the get down but you know you gotta you gotta move differently in this day and age so yeah you know the whole whole netflix and chill nah somewhere that requires a long drive i feel this i do i, I feel this um i say hey pick somewhere if if you know if you if you guys live 40 40 minutes to an hour away from each other or whatnot or if, like you live here in atlanta you know um it takes a it takes a long time to get from one side of town to the other especially when you factor in traffic the best thing to do is 
figure out what is the closest point between you two meet in the middle that's it that's all you know if you cannot do that then evidently you two didn't really want to meet up in the first place it's just what it is bowling bowling can be fun bowling can definitely be fun but it takes a specific type of lady uh to uh want to uh go on a bowling date date the first time out and uh they are out there but it's not a whole lot of them um but again getting back to the whole thing of being able to communicate with your date while you're out i mean let's not forget you're going on a date in order you're going on a date to get a feel for the person uh so how are you going to necessarily communicate effectively in a crowded bowling alley i mean just something to think about i'm not saying that i'm against it it's just that okay just try to be logical about things you know but hey do what you want now nightclubs nightclubs self-explanatory why the hell would you be taking a woman on a first date to a nightclub that is whack that just screams lameness same thing for a hookah bar yeah you you you, you don't you don't want to do that a bar for just drinks a bar period a bar a nightclub a lounge all that no these are no goals for first dates now if you now if you 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 meet her somewhere y'all have a you know y'all have a nice time you know whatnot and you know you y'all decide to go to a a nightclub or a lounge or whatever you know to to end the evening all right then that's something different but that being your first that being your first stop nah nah whackness all right waffle house i detest waffle house so hell no don't take your date to a damn waffle house but if you know late at night you're in the mood for some comedy you know and all that because you know hey you go to a waffle house you gonna get you gonna get some laughs you're gonna get some tragic you're gonna get some tragedy everything it's it's hell waffle house is um is better than Tubi sometimes <laughs> sporting events now unless the woman is is a is into sports like that this is a no-go but even still um as i said the objective is to communicate and get familiar with the uh with the woman so why would you be taking her to a crowded sporting events what 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 talking are you going to do i mean yeah you'll talk on the way there or whatever you know maybe talk after the game but for the most part you're going to be in a crowd you're going to be in a crowded arena or stadium and there's not going to be a whole lot of interaction so um i don't really see the point and uh you know you're taking it to a sporting event so but again hey you you do you you do you but all in all i, don't, I mean these 28 things that are listed on this list i mean it's not bad it's not bad but you know again it all depends on who you are and who it is that you are trying to date some women you know, some women have, you know said that um you know this is the, you know, this type of stuff is the reason why a lot of women are going to be single and you know they have no problem with this with any of these you know, with, with any of this stuff um some women uh, feel the opposite you know there's you know there's there's a large contingency of women who feel like okay well if a date doesn't consist of a of a uh four course meal at a um at a really nice restaurant then it's not a date you know again um it all depends on who it is you're talking to who it is you're trying to interact with and um you know you have to do your due diligence before you just jump out there like that fellas um you know um bet these women man bet these women you'll save yourself a lot of time and money and potential headaches right i mean but hey what do i know i'm i'm married so you know you i mean you know you can take what i'm saying with a grain of salt or help 
you know it's free to pay me no mind but um anyway i have to land my plane on this um again i don't really see a big issue with the list you know um to each their own um uh, you know if you want to if you if you want to continue taking your dates to these type of spots do your thing i say get creative get creative on that first date you know it doesn't have to always cost a whole lot of money but you know you just want to do something different you know what i mean so with that said um i'm just going to uh you know you'll meet y'all in the comment section y'all tell me what it is y'all think you know what y'all think what you like what you love what you don't want no more of and um yeah we'll do it that way but before i get out of here do your boy a favor if you feel like my video has provided you uh with some value and uh you would like to see more like comment share and last but not least subscribe um trying to grow this thing you know very close to the 500 subscribers and uh this isn't a channel without you so i definitely need you to do that for me all right and with that said people two fingers equals Peace.